at my eyes and it burns. Today was supposed to be a light day. I don't know what happened. I'm slowly building up my deadlift. I only hit 305 and push press. I only did 155. But I think honestly, we shot JK party yesterday. Had like a few very intense games. And I've been stepping up my Muay Teasy. You know what I'm saying? So I think uh, my CNS is just kind of fried. And for those of you guys new to the channel, new to fitness, CNS stands for Central Nervous System. And it's the main connection between uh, your brainstem and the rest of your body that goes on your vertebrae and it sends signals. You ever wake up like after a really hard physical activity or a lot hard lecture or lab and the next day you just feel like I can't squeeze my hands tight? It's because you wore it out. And I think I'm worn out. So even though it's a light day, it felt really tough. I'm drenched. I still push as hard as I can. Uh, start off with some deadlifts, three sets of five. Slowly build my way up. Um, I'm gonna keep this really slow progression. It might look really light. You might be like, yo, Bar, I've seen you rep 545 for doubles, triples before. What the fuck are you doing with 305? Just hold on a quick second. All right, I'm gonna get there. I'm just trying to build my shit up without snapping my back. And I did push presses for seven sets of three with 60 seconds dress. So I'm kind of treating this kind of like a, like a speed bench, but almost like a speed explosive shoulders. Here's a myth. A lot of people think it's just uh, shoulder exercises and people that are unknowledgeable or ignorant might be like, why are you cheating on your shoulder presses? Because it's a full body exercise, duh. It's supposed to be your quads, your hips, and your shoulders. You explode in unison. And, uh, oh, even your calves. Triple extension. Some might even say quadruple extension because of the shoulders. And you go pow, pow, pow. Very athletic movement right there. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I go punch harder. Bam! And then I did two supersets with back and shoulders. Bent over rows, floor presses. Oh, that's actually a, a chest and tricep exercise. But uh, and then afterwards, I did a uh, uh, Chinese rows with. Uh, yes, that's the thing. Look it up. And then uh, side raises. And I've been really focusing. I noticed from my my boxing, I've been noticing my elbows are kind of dropping like this. So when you throw a hook like this, you lose a lot of power. When you see fools knock people out, it's because their elbows are cranked real high. So just like lifting, you know, when you're doing sumo or any type of lifting, you want to stack joints, right? Knees over your ankles, hips over your knees, shoulders over your knees, bam! And that's a strong position. Same thing with everything else, sports, athletics, leverages. When you throw a hook, you don't want to be like this and lose power. You want to be ta, ta. So everything I do, I really try to envision, what am I trying to use this for? So I've been really focusing on pow, pow, pow. Get my shoulder over my elbow, over my fist. Because I know as I get tired and boxing, it'll come down here. So, bam! Bam! And then I did a, a little athletic circuit at the end. Did some rotational ball, wall balls, ball, ball slams, uh, box jumps. People like doing box jumps because it saves the knees because you land high. It's a good training tool, but if you want it for application, it's not that practical because how many times are you going to be jumping and freezing the air? So I like to switch it on and off. And then uh, finished off with some sled. That was my workout. Thank you guys for following me along. This beautiful 90s workout. Got the music, got the tunes playing in the back. Tired, but still gave it my all. And I still got a good 20, 30 minutes of martial arts cool down that I gotta do. But if you guys like the journey, like the content, don't forget to support the brand, barbellbrigade.com. See you guys next time. Peace.